Welcome back to Cigar Time, your ever so friendly show all about premium cigars brought to you at this time every Wednesday night. That's true. You welcome guys, back. Welcome. Welcome. Hello, hello. Did you guys notice anything different? Yeah. Glasses? I'm next to Art. Oh. oh. You can see me now. Yeah. <coughs> you're, you're, you're number one <laughs> in, <laughs> in my heart with a bullet. <laughs> What? Microphone's what? in a different spot. Oh, yeah. I didn't, there, see? I didn't wear a low-cut shirt today. I forgot. I win. Okay. Yeah, it's Wednesday. You have to wear a low-cut low <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> I, I see nobody else got the memo either. No. None of you are wearing low-cut. No, you kind of are. I'm not wearing any pants. You got, you got the, <laughs> no, the, the, the chest out. I could. I could. Yeah, I got to sit next to him. <laughs> Sit next to Baldy. Hands above yeah. the table too. Yeah, keep the hands above the table. No pocket billiards on this panel. No. Okay. No. Now that we're all going to uh, heck in a handbasket. Yeah. So what are we, what are we doing today, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Director, Prognosticator, Par he's a Director. Oh, My he's talent. No, he's. Oh, your talent. talent. I didn't say talented. <laughs> <I said talent. laughs> <laughs> Glad you clarified. I think you had too too much eggnog at Christmas. We are smoking the La Gloria Cubana Series R. Well, why don't we get to it then? Okay. What the heck are talking about it? Rock, We're not you smoking. Tell us about the blend. Nope. And this comes, <laughs> <laughs> this comes in a natural and a Maduro. I believe the Maduro is a Connecticut barley. Yes, yes, it, it is. is. It is. I believe this is a this Sumatra. Is a Sumatra wrapper. Oh, oh this, this is Sumatra. Oh. So why do they call it natural? Why don't they just say Sumatra? It's natural Sumatra. It's natural Sumatra. <laughs> I think we just call it natural. Or is it Sumatra? No, the, no, the box really says natural. Uh, oh. Yeah, I it says natural. I may use your oil. lighter. Thanks. Here we are. Right, it says well, natural. The way people name cigars and yeah. stuff like, you know, just... Because I never would have guessed this was a Sumatra. Well, I used to Sumatra being a little red, more reddish. It doesn't look like a Connecticut. Doesn't oh. look like a Cameroon. Oh, very funny. It doesn't look, doesn't look like a Habano. If it was Cameroon, oh, we'd first, be smoking it. Up first That's really true. Let me look at this again. <laughs> I guess it could be an Ecuadorian Sumatra. Nah. Ecuadorian <laughs> Sumatra. <laughs> I'm pretty Sumatra. I'm pretty sure it's Sumatra, and there's some kind of funky, Dominican like, blend. well, the blend. Yeah, the the filler is, but I think the binder might be like. Cameroon or some kind of weird really? thing. Really? Yeah, some, yeah. Did you say no? I don't know. Well, I've not smoked one of these in a very, I very know, long, long time. time. This is actually a pretty good this cigar. This cigar, we, we, it wow. used to be a nude cigar. It didn't come in cellophane. Mm -hmm. And I when you took choose. it out of the box and just held it, like the whole wheel up to your nose to smell it, it oh, had an unbelievably oh, yeah, good I remember smell. That. It's I have incredible. I have a video of Josh doing that sometimes. Really? He used to sit, he'd sit there with like, for like five minutes. You could, I wish you could like, you know, harness that smell. And I tell you what, though, if you are a fan, if cigar. you are a fan of the aroma of cellophane, it's the same thing with the cellophane. If you like cellophane, you just hold up your nose. <laughs> yeah. oh, Some I, of those cigars smell yeah, amazing. I, I, I was just thinking the other day how you just can't get a good cellophane like you used to. Wait, I got oh. a good cellophane here. We got a cellophane right here. Hold it up to your nose and take a whiff. You're kidding me. I don't smell anything. <laughs> Are you guys joking again? Hey, you take the gun? Wait, wait, you think? <laughs> we inadvertently rolled right into what we wanted to talk about. Right? <laughs> cellophane? Our etiquette. So, oh, I thought you meant cellophane. <laughs> That's <laughs> almost as bad as her trying to smoke it through our nose. <laughs> I'm not listening to you guys anymore. <laughs> well, you're finally catching on. <laughs> yeah. All right, so cigar etiquette, which certainly this panel has none yeah. of. Yeah. Etiquette or cigar etiquette? Cigar etiquette. Oh, okay. Does the words uncouth come to mind? So how do, how do, we, do we want to go about like things you should do or shouldn't do? Both. Both? We got plenty of time. Okay. <laughs> um, you should not. One of the things you don't want to do, and I'll, I'll, I'll mention this one because it affects people around you, is when you when you put out a cigar, uh, don't stand uh, it out. Just, just lay it in the ashtray and just let it go out yes and please and don't hurt the ashtray and walk away right. and now walk why away. is that because if you if you if you stamp it out mm -hmm. like it releases all of the the toxins and the grossness at the end of the cigar you yeah. know yeah. grossness and toxins well, don't say toxins basically you're saying put the cigar down and step away walk away <laughs> yeah. walk away. no 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 walk no but then it'll burn for several hours emitting all the smoke yeah. or will it go out it quickly goes out is out. that a setup it actually goes out very quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it should go out. Less than a minute. I've yeah. seen guys stamp it out. Oh, and rub it. Yeah. But then they mess yeah. up the ashtray that way. They don't realize That's that true. they burn the ashtray. You do burn the ashtrays in the bottom. They don't care about that. They should. Yeah, but they don't. Oh. Should another you blow thing, smoke on other people's faces? Another thing when you light the cigar, 
the thing that drives me crazy, you're supposed to toast it and hold the flame back a little bit. Yeah. Right? I see guys taking a lighter and jamming it right up against the it. The amazing thing to me, I see old timers in our business that have been around yeah, forever so doing the same thing. Maybe they can't see. Maybe they can't see. See, I think more, I think. Well, then use a regular flame, <laughs> not a torch flame. Look, first off, first right? off. Right, Art? Yeah. <laughs> I always you use You can light and cut a cigar however you want. I mean, that's, it's a very personal oh, thing. It's a personal but thing. But what I have, I, what I have noticed is, like, I, I guess old timers are just like, let's just, like, whatever. Bite it and just light it with whatever. Where uh, people who get more into it, into the nuances and the lifestyle and all that, pay more attention to the way they light the cigar and cut it. And it's kind uh, of become a, like a ritualistic thing. Yeah, I always toast the end of it first. Yeah, I, I, too. I do. Then too. I put it in yeah. my mouth and then, and then turn it as I'm as I'm exactly. You should it. char you should to char the foot to help I, the combustion and even burn. Yeah, I can we look have, at my burn. We have the advantage of almost always being inside when we light a cigar. Yeah. So I, we can see. I it's harder to do outside. Never yeah. use a torch. The only time I ever use a torch is maybe to touch the cigar up or, or relight it. I char it often with a torch if it's handy. Really? I char it. I but I light it with a soft flame. Yeah. It's hard to do, like, if you're outside on the golf You can't see. Yes, exactly. Because you can't see the practical. flame. Yeah, and especially in a 50-mile-an-hour wind. Right, yeah, it's yeah. tough. It's usually when, you end your, when you're holding the lighter and the end, get, wind blows and your fingers get burned. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they do. Um, Next point? Oh, a cigar shop etiquette would be to please empty your ashtray. Yeah. I got that guys that do that. Either. I have some. No, I guys. have some guys yeah. that do that. Like every time. I don't mind if you don't empty your ashtray because you know sometimes it's still burning and yeah, you sometimes there's yeah. stuff in the bu bucket that you might not want. Could be to combustible. Go. Yeah. yeah. I, so I don't mind. I just just clean up other and, stuff. And for that fact, I tell the guys in, in Phoenixville not to empty their ashtrays. Yeah, I don't mind. Because yeah, I mean. I do that anyway. I empty them, clean them all. And I like to go around while they're sitting there, and if it's kind of full, I like to empty it for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but again, it's you don't want the hot ashes or the hot cigars that yeah. are still in there, throwing them away. But I put them in a bucket. I have those yeah, like firemen. Yeah, we are buckets. Buckets. Yeah. buckets. Yeah. Yeah. No, you know, <laughs> no, I'd like <laughs> to, to say hard. something. I noticed that when we're on the panel, you guys don't take your bands off. But when you guys are out there, My you pants? take your bands. 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 Oh, bands. But then when you guys are, are in the shop, you take <laughs> you your bands off. Always. Like you always take your band off. I always you take always. Mine off. Yep. But then when we're on the I panel, don't. no, I leave mine. Oh, you do? Yeah. When you're on the panel, though, no, you I always guys take, leave I take your my, band off. I always because take we're mine smoking off. It, I mean, we're reviewing the cigar, so I leave it. Yeah. On. Oh. But I normally. It, so so why do you take your band before off? Before I light, before I light my cigar, I take the band why? off. Why? Because I do. I just don't want it there. I'll tell you why I take them off. Tell me why. I take them off for two reasons. One, uh, we have someone in the Horsham store that makes artwork out of the bands. <laughs> and we've been saving him the bands for sure. what seems like forever. And, and I just put them into a big cigar box and then dump them into a plastic bag and give them to him every so often. But the other reason I take it off is I don't want to be influenced by looking at what I'm smoking. I, wanna, I, I, I find I enjoy the cigar better. I know what it is. Yeah. But I, I find I enjoy it more if I'm not concentrating on knowing in advance what it should do. It's also a conversation starter. People have to ask yeah, you Yeah, exactly, ah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, but if they do that, I can't remember. Oh, I, we'll see. Unlike the ravages of old age catching up to you, I don't have that problem. And I can actually remember the, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, cigar I'm smoking. Uh -huh. I don't. I don't take them off because a lot of times it tears the wrapper. No, I. I, I got it down to a science. I can That's take the them off with never, ever, ever cracking the wrapper. Oh, you know what is that? They're my <laughs> Sounds like someone says, "Oh, I can take a bra off with one snap." Who can't? No, I can't. Most band. Look, well, if I get a band that's put on with super glue, I don't fight it. Yeah, I don't right, fight. Right, exactly. You don't. No, fight I'm not going to rip. rip I don't know. I'm not, not like going to rip the wrapper. Right. But no, most bands are easy to get off. You just peel yeah. them in a the corner yeah. and then gently, and they I come like right off. I like people knowing what I'm smoking. No. Well, that's I, like I said. It starts the conversation. Yeah. Yeah. I just leave it on. I, I just I don't like it naked. It just looks naked without it. I take the off. See, look, that doesn't look right. It just looks naked. But I know what that is. But I didn't know what it was. Well, no, but, but I did ask you, didn't you, I? And that started the so conversation, the conversation. Didn't <laughs> it? That's my point. There you go. <laughs> and, we, and when you're in the business of selling cigars, right, it's, you and, you, the conversation. And, and you're walking amongst the customers and such, or the lounge members, or the club members, or whatever, and they see a naked cigar in your mouth, they often will say, what are you smoking? Absolutely. Uh, I know Rob has very strong feelings on this. 
clean on this. I just have strong feelings about everything. Yeah, that's true. Good game. Um, very should opinion. you or should you not put the cigar in your mouth before you cut it? No. Oh, come on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Stop. Yes. That's gross. People do it all the time. I now. do it oh. because I have my own personal. Well, I have my own. Yes. I have my own personal. I so still don't do it. If you have your own personal. If you use it in the store one, do. Yeah. I, I never do it. That is, do that it. is. I never do it. That is the biggest thing you can do. What? Is is let put your cigar in the, in your mouth, lick it all up, and then use somebody else's cutter. That's <laughs> or a yeah, public that's, cutter. That's gross. That is no, I never gross. It's not sanitary. It's I cut it first. I always do I don't I can't recall ever not cutting it first. I just lick the tip like like that, and then I. Because I like to punch it, so when you punch, you it's easier to go in. Right? Well, that's different. I mean, yeah. th there's a, there's a utility reason for that, right? Mm -hmm. But you use your own. I use my own. You don't use someone else's. No. I've I have guys come in and they they stick it in their mouth and they look like they're eating a lollipop or something, and they say, "Oh, can I borrow your cutter?" I'm like, "No, you're <laughs> not using my cutter." I don't blame you. I don't you. care if you get mad. You know how I am. You're not you're not using my cutter. Or the public cutter. Stop looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping. Or the public cutter. I'm hoping one of your topics is the 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 etiquette involving cutting the cigar. Go ahead, talk about it. Oh, you want me to talk about sure, it? Yeah. I have been a lifelong guillotine cutter. Which uh, is a straight cut. Yeah. Unfortunately, I borrowed another panel's cutter, <laughs> and I wound up with a V cut. I don't know if you can see I that. I said you want to borrow my V cutter. I didn't hear you were my deaf cutter. ear. Don't listen this right. way. Well, that's beside the point. <laughs> and 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 I'll explain the reasons. I'll explain yeah. the reasons. I find that when you use a V cutter or a hole puncher, and back. Twenty some years ago, the forty-four caliber empty shells yeah, made it, made it the cutters really? were very popular. That's why they called them bullet cutters. Yeah. Oh. And the reason I believe more in the guillotine cutter, and everybody's free for their opinion, is when you cut it straight. When you cut it as a guillotine oh. cut, the smoke, the taste, goes all over the tongue and and inside your mouth. When you notch it, or V-cut it, or bullet cut it, it's more directed down the middle of your tongue. And I find I enjoy the taste well, more. No, no, I understand. I, okay, I'll tell you why I use the V-cut. You're, you're correct. Yeah. When you... Wow. Can we... Is that on... <laughs> yes, it's on tape. <laughs> Please cut me a piece of that. I want to <laughs> always display that. You can put you can that... Forever. You can say that's forever. true, yeah. You can put that right next to that dollar bill you keep. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a five dollar bill. It's a fiver. It's fading. It's fading. It's been a while. <laughs> May it wind but, up being a one. But I use it because I don't like the, the guillotine cutter because you get too much like, tobacco I don't in your mouth. I agree. Uh, when you, you say too much tobacco, what do you mean? Loose pieces? Loose yes. Pieces oh no, I never get okay. never I, get I, there. If I use a V cutter what? for a bullet cutter, I end up cutting the guillotine cut on it anyway because all the end starts coming off. Well, that's later in the cigar though. Yeah. But I'm talking about the beginning. So why, if you why, don't cut why waste the time? Just cut the it. The V cut you don't you don't cut the, the head off, you leave the shoulders intact. Uh, you can use it directionally because it, it is it goes all the way across. If you don't want it straight down your into your tongue turn it the other way and it goes all over so you can a use star. it you can make you can make a star too i've done that nice um you are i like that and i don't like the the punch because Why? it's too directional no, the v cut you can is. the v cuts much wider and it gets more of your over your palate see i think the, the key is your tongue contains so many sensory glands yes. all, all over your tongue right that when you direct it down the middle or the side or have to remember how to hold it to get it you know well, if horizontal. You it, if you hold it horizontally, it'll go all over. Yeah, but what do you do if you don't see that well? But if I, but when I, when I puff on it, I take the smoke in my mouth and it goes everywhere because I'm like that. With it's all in your mouth and it's going everywhere. So what does it matter? I just it's, find it's all personal preference. If you smoke, and if it's a well constructed cigar, well, which is all we sell is well constructed it, cigars. You don't have to worry about the cap. Well, coming off. I, I again, it's, I it's personal taste, and and sometimes when you're smoking a a, a, a very peppery cigar it's or a very strong right, cigar, exactly. when you direct it down the middle of your tongue, it's too intense. You it's too intense, and you get that little bit of burn in the back of the throat. And you know, I just again, I've been doing this for a very very long time. I just prefer, and always have preferred, the guillotine cut. Well, I will do. I will test your theory next time. I will use a straight cut and see what happens. Yeah, I mean. 
I, well, a lot of people using the, the guillotine cut cut too much off of the cigar. That's true. That's yeah, true. Can, Most yeah, you people can, you can smoke it. their cut. Yes, yeah, so you can yeah. smoke yeah. yeah. yes. It's almost like a nub. And that's why sometimes <laughs> it unravels on them, too. Yes. It's yeah. a petite nub. Yes. Exactly right. <laughs> we actually, when we were in Vegas, I don't think you, like, I think one time you used a cutter, but of all the cigars I smoked, I just, we never had a cutter. We never had a cutter. So, I just so we used you our fingernails. Never had a <laughs> well, yeah, I just pinched the end of it. Yeah. In an emergency, you know, yeah. teeth well, work, you, fingers work. You cut it with a twice. No, you cut a lot of times with your teeth, the cigar. Do you yeah. know what's funny? I find I'm like, I work you? in a cigar shop. I work in a cigar shop. And when Did I'm it? out, I never really? have a lighter on me. And I'm like, I'm a smoker, and I never have a lighter. Isn't that interesting? Mm-mm. Yeah. Not really. Yeah. I keep two. And most four. women carry a handbag or something. I never have a lighter. Well, I, 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 I carry I, two, two in the car. Two handbags? No, two lighters. Oh, two lighters. <laughs> <laughs> two handbags. <laughs> One's two enough. Four. <laughs> one's enough. Yeah, one's enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. A man bag. Yeah, yeah, I get too many people giving. They were popular man bags in the late eighties, early nineties. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But a man uh, will never look good with a bag. I keep three in my my uh, briefcase, and two in the car. I get three or four at home. I get a couple here on my desk. I have the lighters all over the place. I need lighters to go with. Them. I you know what else yeah. I find? I forget to fill it too. Yeah. Look at this. I'm out. I have. I can't. The other day, I counted my uh, <laughs> cut my lighters. In Phoenixville, I have 17 lighters. I'm the personal? I, yeah, per, my <laughs> personal you, you, lighters. You, 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 actually, that's Remind me to take inventory in <laughs> Phoenixville. <laughs> 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 but, but it's not. But lighters are, are like, you, 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 sign, you see something you like, you may not ever use it, but that's a really cool lighter. lighter. You buy it. Yeah, yeah I got drawers filled That's part of the fun of it for us. It's not just smoking the cigar. It's, it's, it's everything. Yeah. 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 It's that's the us. etiquette. And I have a ton, yeah, I have a ton of cigars. Yeah, we all have. I'll probably never smoke because I just. I collect them. Yeah. Some people think that's just absolutely crazy. No, I but like I, I like collecting. Like I have, I'll have one of some. Like the the Alec Bradley, um, post embargo. I have the one of the, with the original. The bags. original, yeah. It's just oh, you're habit. never gonna smoke it. And the the, ca- the the Fuente, the the Casa Cuba. I have the one from the. I have one left from when we. Yeah, we dinner. introduced that. Yeah, as we did, we did the post embargo. Yeah. Well, when I had my own store, I still have a bundle of my house cigars. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. By now, they're probably pretty good. Yeah, they've yeah. <laughs> yeah. really nice. It's what, about 20 years now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's about Who made it for you? S, uh, UST. Oh, UST. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. When Joe, Joe was my yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. 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 He was one of the first guys to come in. Dan was the first, and he was the second. Oh, Perdomo? Perdomo, Joe? Yeah, Perdomo. Yeah, when he was with UST. Do you yeah. guys ever use um, matches to light it? I have, yeah. Indoors. If I don't have one of my 17 lighters on me, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Only when I'm slumming. I like the way the matches taste. Really? Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to eat them. I mean, you can taste it. You 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 got when you strike a match, you got to let the sulfur burn Burn, off a little bit. You can that actually ta- taste it. Yeah, that yeah. taste will come right down the yeah. cigar. If you don't let it, if you don't let it set for a couple of seconds mm-hmm. to burn off a little bit, you'll get no, that. No, but you can I, taste the wood. If I forget yeah. my lighter, I borrow somebody else's, and then if I can't get one, then I'll use matches. Yeah. Of course, I, I'll use a lighter to. I think you're about to say this. The yeah, cedar, cedar stick. St- yeah, cedar stick. Spill yeah. You, you don't see that a lot anymore. No, it Are makes we, too much of a mess. It does. It does make a mess. But but a great mess. Mess. We always have a box of them, right, where we keep the cutters yeah. and lighters, mm-hmm. but I don't see anybody use them. Mm-hmm. So we're doing a series. The cigar tastes better, though. We're doing really a series does. R here, and we're doing it. Oh, yeah, we should do initial reviews. Do we have a, a, a reason we're doing a series R today? Yeah, we have a lot of them. We have a plethora. <laughs> we have a plethora. <laughs> I can think of five. <laughs> I think we have a lot of the I, series I number seven. Are we running any kind of deals or something, specials? Yeah. That's that up was, to you. Hmm? We were told you were doing that. Oh, I'm doing it? That's what I was told. Well, look for the look in the store. We're running really, really great deals on them. Man. Yeah. I forgot how good this cigar is. It's a very good. It's actually not bad. All right, well, why don't we go around while we have a few minutes and uh, let's give it an initial review. My initial is, is kind of like a... It, it's a has like this retro flavor, mm-hmm. almost mm-hmm. like actually probably back to when it was uh, originally like it originally created. I would like when I first when I first started smoking cigars, which was probably the early nineties. This um, is from the late nineties. Okay, but this that's what it reminds me of the cigars that I had at that point. Mm-hmm. This, well, this is made, this was originally made by Ernie. Yeah, uh, yeah I, fi- I find this to be a very consistent cigar. Also, yeah, yeah. I've smoked them for many years. Very consistent. Very consistent cigar. Yeah. I'm getting a, a nice... Uh, kind of nutty. <laughs> I was going to say woody taste, but... 
You know, we love it, his it's, wood it's, and nuts. I'm getting a buzz. He right loves here. his it's wood and nuts. Buzz like you? Yes. I, I, you remember, <laughs> you're sitting, doing, sitting next a, to a guy with no pants on. It puts, <laughs> it's a it's a very, fair. you know what? No, you really too. looked? <laughs> he did. It's, it's a very clean smoke hmm? for me. It's, it's oh, okay. a lot cleaner than other smokes. I can see what you're saying. Yeah. The smoke is. I agree. Yeah, a little I'm, bit I'm, spice. I'm, I'm a little, a little bit spice. Natural, which I would have preferred the Maduro. I would have preferred the Maduro yeah. too. Oh, really? No. Well, then maybe you should have gotten them. No, yeah. I, well, well, I told you when you were getting them, but that's no, I don't, okay. I didn't hear you. I'm, I'm sorry. Like this. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> this is one of those cases where I like the natural more than the Maduro. Yes, me too. Wow. For whatever. I, I don't know why. I wish we would have smoked the Maduro so we would have had two different perspectives. Oh, oh. Well, well, next week you're in charge of the cigar. Oh, response. no, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's Next I gotta week. remember my shirt. Next How week. Can I remember yeah, the really cigar? Cool. She, 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 she forgot her shirt. Thing, actually. Oh, great. oh boy, I could do ten minutes with that line alone. So, uh, yeah, at so least your cigar didn't have a nipple this week. Yes. So, oh, yeah, so what do that. you what do you have to say about the cigar, Moose? Uh, I like it. Uh, I give it a nine. Oh wait, we have. Oh, oh, we're not rating it yet. <laughs> Cut. My Mr. Bear. Rookie. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> well, you already know what I rated. He's off the island. You're off the island, Moose. Rookie mistake. I'm off the island. I'm not a survivor. T, what's your uh, comment? I, I agree with Rob. Uh, it is a clean smoke. I don't know how to explain that. But yeah. It, it, it is. I'm really surprised you like this. You get. I am surprised I like it, too. Yeah, because no it's not your taste. typical it's smoke. It's not, no. and it's actually I'm not as full as I thought it was. But it, it's, it's, it's not exactly a mild cigar. As far as the strength. Um, as far as flavor, the flavor, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah, as far as a lot the flavor, flavor too. I'm almost getting a little bit of... I'm getting grass. I'm getting a little Maybe hay. like sweetness, gonna be but, yeah, but it's just a, just when it, the smoke enters my mouth yeah. and then it, and yeah. then it, it goes away. Right yeah, away. and then if you wait, you sat here for a little bit, you get that that clean, sweet taste on the yeah. on your tongue for a little. And bit. it's not peppery like I thought it would be. I got a little I little spice, but not pepper. No, not no pepper. pepper at all. Maybe a little bit. Of almost. We're, again, I we're smoking. Floral. We're smoking the yeah. yeah Liguori like Cabana like Series R. I think it's more like Spanish bonnet. Yeah. Ooh, that's Rob. Rob. Ooh, Not me. Cell phone on. Not me. It's Rob. Um, <laughs> Scott, <laughs> myself, and Art. What the heck is that ringtone? Stop. <laughs> We're smoking the number five. T is smoking the number three, and Moose is smoking the, the number seven. Oh, you got this. I didn't see you bring that. He's got the number seven. Thing. Yeah. Yep. Number seven. At least nobody's doing a number two. Oh my god! They don't have a number two. They don't I know. have number two. I know. I don't even like number two. Wow. He, he says nobody's doing a number two. Oh, okay. okay. Um, they don't have a have you one, guys? Do have you guys had the the La Gloria Estelle? It's the Estelle, yeah. right? That's the a good one. I like that. Yeah. I haven't That's had that one yet. Man. That's oh. a great cigar. Now, what's the play on that? One? And it's very it's very well priced too. Like yeah. Was it five ninety nine? Something like that. I think the little one's four ninety nine. Yeah, it it's amazing. For the yeah, that's the advantage of a company like General Cigar that manufactures La Gloria, because they're so so vertically integrated and one of the two of the giant corporations that sell premium cigars in this country. You know, they have an advantage. Yeah, they do. And they really have an advantage. What I don't understand with that new one versus the Esteli, um, what's the difference? But they're all Series R. I know. That's what I don't understand. It's, it's just a different blend. Is the new one called the Estelle? Yeah, it's called the Estelle. The Maduro. It has to do with where they get the tobacco from, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Estelle. Yeah. Nicolás. That's, that's a Giannini creation. Yeah. yeah, that was. No, yeah. These are original. No, no, I'm artists. talking about the, the one that came out this year. Yeah, the, the new one. The yeah. one in that's the red and white box. I'm just trying to understand the play on that Wasn't line. that just a line that's extension? It's not a Series R. No, it's just, just an Estelle. That's a La Gloria. Oh, it's just La Gloria. Yeah. Oh, it's just La Gloria. Yeah. Yeah. It's not yeah. Estelle. Oh. Either way, it's a great cigar. Yes. Do we have anything more about etiquette? Probably. Well, you guys come up with something. Well, I... Just throw your cups <laughs> in the trash. I, I, I think, you know, having visited over the years literally hundreds and hundreds of smoke shops, you know, I find, for the most part, the people that that inhibit the lounges exhibit very good behavior. But every once in a while I see things like, you know, you'll be sitting in a chair and you'll pull over another chair but and then put your feet up on the on this nice clean chair that uh, somebody else is gonna sit in. Mm. Or how about when people take their shoes off? Uh, oh, why are you taking your shoes slayer. off? Yeah, I don't slayer. understand that. Yeah. How about um, cell phone? 
What about it? Well, like, in the lounges? In the la like, uh, if you want to talk on the cell phone, that's fine. But <gasps> some people just are just like. I would say it, you should put it on vibrate. What happened? Well, I mean when they actually. Don't the sweat thing it. Came off. I mean when they're actually people. Well, some people just well, so screaming. Just yeah. like so the entire place can hear the, yeah. the conversation. Don't, don't, do don't do that. Yes, do not do that. Yes. Yeah. That. Oh, with the cell phones? Yeah, yeah. that drives me nuts. Yeah, put it on vibrate. I mean, you know what else drives me nuts? Bluetooth. People what? Start, no, oh, I understand the reason for them, okay? But people, you'll be talking. And you think and they're walking around, they're talking, talking, <laughs> and talking. And you go, what? And then yeah. you realize they got a Bluetooth on. It's like, come on, cut me a break here. Yeah. You think yeah. they're just talking to themselves? Yeah. yeah. Well, well, you think they're nuts. I love Bluetooth. Thank in the you. humidor, and they, they have the phone up to the air. That irritates I'll, I'll, me. Well, it doesn't bother me, but I'll just I'll let them be. But if they have the Bluetooth, you're. No, that irritates me. Why? Because you're there looking for cigars. You're not supposed to be talking on your phone. Yeah, but what if no, they, no, 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 no. What if they, no, called, up, right. what if they yeah. called up their, their significant other to find out That's what a different the story. The cigar That's is. a different story. But okay. I have people coming in the, into the store on their phone talking while they're walking around for the same person they were talking with outside. They're talking. They come up to the register talking on their phone. And but that, it is kind of hard to interact but, but, with oh, 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 slow down, yeah. slow down. That is the modern way of I life. Know. That's wrong. Yeah, I, I. It's rude. Oh, Rob's very old school. It's rude. Yes, and he is old school. I, I, I agree, and I, and I could make the argument. Yeah, Rob was born in the forties. I, I could make the argument both <laughs> ways. No, he wasn't born in the forties. I was born in the forties. All right, it's time to put a final number on this before we run out of time. Come on, Scott. We're all looking to you for wisdom. I, I like the cigar. I, I like the cigar. sweetness and yeah. the retro. Um, I'm going to give it an eight seven five. Mm -hmm. Well, we know Moose. Yep, I already. I already Are you sticking it. to your nine? I'm sticking to my nine. Rob, I I agree with Moose. Such final answer. Number nine. Damn nine. The retro hills fan. Nine. I have to do a nine. There you go. I was hoping to give it a low number, but I can't because I'm pleasantly surprised. Why were you hoping to give it a, a low number? I guess I thought because I it's not her smoke. Yeah, it's that, that, I, if you'd have said to me she's going to smoke the cigar, I, I would have said immediately she won't like mm -hmm. it. It's we'll a, but I'm actually pleasantly surprised. No, I know. I, so I, maybe I, I had one a, a long time ago, and I don't know what happened with that one. But well, just to balance the panel and make it come out tonight, I'm going to nice give it a 925. Nine 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 I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, because, do that. because it really is a solid 9 so cigar. It it's a good so 9 cigar. It out for a balanced yeah, cigar. Yeah, and just because somebody on the panel wasn't willing to go all the way and give it a 9. Somebody I just, was honest. What do you want me to do? I just thought I would bounce. There's nothing wrong with an 875. That's a good no, number. No, it's a very good number considering the price points and the quality of the smoke. And no. there will be a special, right? Of course there'll sure be a special. Okay. Watch your email. Don't forget, when you come into one of our stores, sign up for our rewards program. Call yeah. Five Star. Call Five Star Loyalty, but sign up for our rewards. Get all kinds of free stuff and discounts and special yep. notices. Blah, you get blah, a 15% blah, blah, blah. discount just for signing up. I like free. And don't forget this time of year, it's cold outside, so we don't have stores on every corner, so don't forget to patronize your local brick-and-mortar dealer that gives you a way to go this Hopefully time of year. Everybody. We'll see you next Wednesday. Bye-bye. Uh,